Day two of La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge, 16 years in the race. We are at the Banana Bank, which once was actually considered the city of the Belize River. Uh, it was where everybody came, where the main business happened, and people would come all the way from San Ignacio for their holidays to Banana Bank. All the way to Banana Bank. You could imagine that. And it was wonderful those days. All the way on the river, coming down on the Cayo boats, all the people living on Mo Tomorrow. Um, coming upstream, people living in uh, Happy Home, Oklahoma, uh, they, they would come to Banana Bank and, and this was where everything happened. Um, well, today is happening for La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. Uh, Roberto, uh, another race, another event, another success. Of course, Luis, um, we're pretty satisfied with yesterday. We had, um, of the 61 teams uh, registering, uh, 59 did finish, we disqualified one, and one did not finish. Uh, we disqualified comprehensive school basically because they refused to, to put on their, or fasten their personal flotation device. You know, we take safety on the river as a serious matter for us, so they were disqualified. Well, it's something that uh, we could say, ah, you should allow it to happen, but no, safety is, uh, is number one, and discipline has to come as part of the safety part. Of course, um, you know, the, the level of the river was, was higher than normal yesterday. Of course, that allowed also for the race to, to have finished um, in, in four hours, uh, Four minutes, I think it was. 46 minutes. 46 minutes. Um, last year it was five hours and 12 minutes thereabouts. Yeah. So clearly the, 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 the river was a bit higher, um, but definitely safety is, is an import first and foremost for us. Um, when you see the race and the participation of people, um, every year you see teams getting bigger. I don't mean more teams, I mean the teams getting bigger. Yeah. Now their team sponsors are allowed, their family members are allowed. How do you see that growing on the Ruta Maya? Well, we, while we have seen the, the, the a stable end amount of teams being registered, um, we would like definitely to see more, more teams participate. Um, the, the partnership that, we, that has been Evolving it has been a, a good one, community, family, support team. Um, clearly that, that's what has made the success of, of the race be, be as it is today. Um, one of the things I noticed is that there was no entries for the Dory category. And uh, I'm not sure if we... And, uh, and then um, in the family category we have one. Um, Eh, do you think we're, we're dying on that or, do, uh, or does it need an incentive to get back on, on, on that? I think there, there has to be an incentive. One of the strategies we want to use next year is to have each community along this river feel a team with, with Dory. Of course, again, that will, some incentive would have to go along with that because one, one of the, 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 the premise that we, we started this race is that we would have liked to have seen more of a Dory type race that rather than, than what we have today but nonetheless I think this race has taken on its own own way and and we hope that for next year we can strategize a little bit better and and have those um, more doors more families involved in in this race well I must tell you something I've I have not seen a tourist canoe in the river if, 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 even the teams that have no experience are using uh, racing canoes and, uh, and that's pretty interesting. Of course, th this race has, has added a new dimension to it in a sense that uh, there is a demand for racing canoes, uh, and racing canoes are not cheap. Um, but there is room for improvement from the Dory side, from the family side in, in, in this race, definitely. Well, Roberto, thanks a lot, and uh, congratulations for another success. Thank you. All right, and I tell you, today is the longest day. Thank you so much, Mr. Harrison. Uh, what is the distance that they're going to be traveling today? I think it's about 56 miles there. Yeah, all right, around 60 miles, um, a little short of 60 miles. And it's uh, one of the challenges of today, apart from being a long day, is that 
servicing is very difficult because there's not much access. Uh, you have access from here to more tomorrow, it's um, uh, an hour, hour and a half to more tomorrow, and from there on it's all the way to reach St. Paul's Bank. So if you really look at it, um, that whole section, the teams will be uh, an average of like three, three and a half hours without any, any servicing. Um, the only thing they depend on, if they really need help, will be from the service boats, which uh, I, I noticed the Coast Guard and um, uh, BDF are, are supporting, which is something really nice. But, but so the teams have to be well serviced at, at More Tomorrow, and that is key. The teams that are not serviced at More Tomorrow, they're going to really suffer on that way. For sure, uh, Lewis, um, but let's start with the... Um, the positions that they will leave here with today you know um, yesterday we noticed that whatever boys they came in third they came into uh, they actually they came into the into banana bank in fourth in third place position and that puts them first in their category all right so let me go over the male position we have the Belize Bank in first niche in second BTL Cubs Arms in third West Track fourth Joseph and Taylor fifth DNA construction are they you again? Are they you again? Ali Canary, um, Rotorac, Tropic Air. Those are the. Then we have Team SIB, Allied Health, Sailfish One, and Canoe Body Shop. Those are the first 10 teams in that category. All right, since you did the male category, can I do the female category? Wait, so or <laughs> as soon as I can find them. Let's see if we can find the female category. Okay, it wasn't okay. Okay, there you go. There you go. All right, the Kupshi Metal uh, team, uh, Peacemakers, Lone Star Trio, uh, Serve the People, and Patches. Um, uh, you said that the team uh, intramural. So whatever boys, uh, which is overall um, overall third, is actually intramural. Which which school are they? Uh, are they? They're a school from Cayo, I think, yeah, but they're the doing pretty good. Okay, the whatever boys, would that be the, the crew from Santa Familia? I believe they are. They must be there. And their father, um, um, Carrillo, was actually one of the original partners of the Ruta Maya. If I, 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 I know who they are now. This is the mixed category. The mixed category, and I know Black Orchid, um, eighth. eighth overall, and they were there with, with the first eight that we saw in Esperanza. They were right there in that crew, and they keep being a, a number eight overall and first in their category. Um, the Belize Coast Guard, uh, the Belize Coast Guard Guardian, uh, we we, Wave Runner, uh, Wagon On, and You Can. And so, so, so those are the teams that uh, we look at. And um, it's really interesting, though, that, that, that you have now the mixed category already up in the first 10 overall and an intramural team, which now, uh, these are young guys, very. very young guys from a high school that are actually up there in third category, in third place overall. That, that, that shows that there are people are putting a lot of effort. I remember the first year of Rutamaya and, and we went to Santa Familia. Uh, to look at people working out and they couldn't get a, a, a canoe for some reason that day and the race was a, a, on the weekend and they sat down on a, on a fallen tree in the water and they were actually a, 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 a working their strokes and, and balancing out of that, of that branch that was actually on the river. So, so people find unique ways of doing things. That's right, the second day is about to get started. We're going to take a quick break and we will be back. And we are out here for the start of the second day. I tell you, you can feel the energy out here, Lewis. Well, I, I like the Guguzelas that they brought, um, <laughs> the, the teams brought out uh, this year. Um, I like to focus on the team, uh, the family, the only, the only entry of the family, um, the only entry in the family category. And I, and I, and I have to focus on yes. them is uh, Felipe Vanegas. Felipe Vanegas has been on the Rutamaya since inception, since uh, 16 years ago. And he was on a team first, then he, he, he paddled for Team Belize, uh, Print Belize, and then he paddled with others, and then he became a service guy. He was there servicing a lot of different teams, and he was even sometimes even hired to service teams because he was always on the race. And uh, now he decided to join his 
with his two with his two sons. I uh, know his two sons would be I don't know I, uh, average age fourteen and sixteen. That means that the sons were babies when the Ruta Maya started, and uh, now they are paddling the race. So you could see the the, the, the evolution of of, of of Felipe Vanegas in the Ruta Maya with his now his family is paddling the race. You know, um, Chris Guides is a guy from Boom. I'm sure you might remember Chris. And Chris doesn't have the same story, but a similar story. <coughs> Chris's daughter um, must be 20 now or so. And Chris has battled for about 15 years or so. Chris's daughter is placing it first in her category as, 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 um, as mix. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so so that's what's happening now. Uh, you, you, you see that uh, the, uh, the family, it's not like it's becoming a tradition now. Um, the, uh, the Carrillos from Santa Familia, which are in the, the intramural, um, uh, the two kids, I mean, they, 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 they used to come out uh, and cheer for their dad uh, for, uh, and, and, and push the dad on the race. Now they are paddling and actually they're doing excellent. If you look far out there, I don't know if Drew can catch it, there is a boat, there's a canoe with only two persons in it. Um, that canoe is obviously just paddling for fun today because they can't qualify at any rate. You have to start the day with three persons to qualify for a position. <laughs> Kabuli, get back! One more minute, one more minute. One more minute, one more minute. Well, uh, now you said about the missing, uh, missing, missing. <laughs> the missing team person. Um, on the fourth, on the third or fourth year of the race. Uh, we lost a paddler on, on this on, on this um, road the second day of the race, uh, and uh, pretty much he jumped out of the canoe. He couldn't go more. The service uh, boats uh, missed him uh, somehow, and uh, we were there at uh, 11 o'clock the night uh, looking for him. He showed up the next morning. Uh, he had been walking through bamboo uh, patches, and it was a disaster. Okay, the race has gone. The race it has is gone. Up. It is off. The second day for the La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge has started the longest day yet. And I tell you, these guys are off, off to a good start, except for the canoe right there that still needs a little turning around. <laughs> well, they started well, but the wake of the of the faster teams turned them around. <laughs> and uh, that's what you can see. Um, and there it goes, oops, we had a flip, we had an early uh, shower, uh, some guys went for an early swim, uh, that's part of the race uh, and that's the importance of having your life jacket, that's the safety feature uh, that, that, that you cannot forget in any uh, aquatic sport, especially uh, on, a, on a race that does a river like this one. Um, this is the Belize River. And uh, now we are heading on to the deeper parts of the river. This is now uh, coming to be an interesting um, a race because uh, the, the Belize Bank Bulldogs are actually, um, we can say, three, three, three minutes uh, ahead of Niche, which is a good lead. But let me tell you something. This part of the river puts a lot more muscle. And, uh, and, uh, and let me just go back to the Belize, the, the Belize Bank Bulldogs. If you if you see the 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 the, 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 um, the the Belize Bank team, most of them from uh, from Esperanza, they know rapids. They know how to handle the rapids. They are there, and that's why it's easy for them. They are getting into the shallow waters where you will see the people from the uh, Belize River Valley actually gaining more on them. So that is what the Rutamaya will be now is if Belize Bank can keep that lead or you will see the teams from the Belize River Valley coming a little closer to them and if they can keep that lead it will be good but I am not think they will be able to keep that three, three, three minutes lead at all. You don't think so uh, Lois? Well last year they um, they kind of had like a, a big tumble down in the, um, in the, in the, in the rapids there near um, Doublehead Cabbage and all the major teams um, capsized, all of them, all three, four of them capsized. This year we're going to try and get there early enough to see if the same thing happens but I think that I mean, four, three minutes is a lot, you know. Not the, I mean, it would take a lot to beat them. Well, I, I didn't say beat them, but I said they will yeah. be able to gain a lot on them. Um, and I, and, and, and again, 
uh, when we saw him in Esperanza, we saw a, a closer race, uh, three minutes, and then you have another three minutes to the third, third place, uh, and uh, another uh, three minutes uh, for the fourth place. So, so they did uh, open the gap, um, which I, I wasn't too sure if they were going to do that, but they did. Um, so... So yeah. maybe we should start looking out for teams for like Joseph and Taylor and Black Orchid Resort. Why? Because these teams practice in that area. They're coming home. They also have DNA, which these guys are from that area, and that would be the leg that they're most familiar with. So we will see what happens for them. Maybe, like I said, it is highly unlikely that they can pass Belize Bank, but they will, like you had said, gain some time. Well, they're going to be going down to, they're going to be passing the area of Rakdonda. Rakdonda is an area that has some big rocks. It was dynamited uh, um, in, the, in the early 1900s because of some heavy rocks that uh, prevented uh, the boats to go up and down. So there's a lot of rocks all over the place there. Um, and in those rapids is where people can gain or lose. If you catch the right current, you gain a lot of speed, you gain a lot from the errors. If you catch the wrong current, you actually delay a, lot, a, a, a few seconds. How far is that from where we're standing? In terms of how long do you think it will take for them to get there? Uh, they'll be there in the next uh, half an hour. Uh, sorry, if, about four, 45 minutes. And then they'll be, it's very close to more tomorrow. And then when they hit to more tomorrow, more tomorrow is such a beautiful, uh, I should say a beautiful a little village. It's one of the oldest villages in Belize. It was where you always had more tomorrow because boats would come and there's, a, there's an area where the, the, the river actually takes off and goes north and then comes back again um, uh, south to start going back east. So when you do that, in the olden days when, the, when it was too shallow, the, the people would actually get out of the boats and walk that part and the boat would go on its own and people would meet it. Now if you miss the boat, there's more tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. I'll tell you what, we're going to take a break, but before we do so, we have to thank our sponsors. When you think pasta, think Pasta Ina, distributed by Vegas Distributors in Benquevejo. When you think wings, think, think Wingstop from either the Wingstop in Cayo or the Wingstop in Belmopan. When you think... Canoe wings for breakfast? Yes, certainly. Right. There Sounds you good. go. Wings, or we can do pasta and wings. Right. Ina, pasta <laughs> and wings. Um, we also have to tell you when you're looking for car to rent or to purchase Crystal Auto Rental in Belize City, the place to visit for that. Shirts, caps, t-shirts, any promotional item. It has to be creative marketing. All right, on that note, we're going to take a break and we will be back. All right, what do we do now? Here. And we are here at More Tomorrow. The teams are coming in. Drew, let's see what you can see over there. Let's see who's the first team to pass here. Belize Bank. We see Belize Bank passing More Tomorrow first, followed closely, and I mean closely, by West Track, less than a canoe length. Cubs Arm in third. We have Coop Sheet Metal in fourth. Whatever Boys in fifth. Niche in sixth. All right, these guys are definitely, definitely looking, looking strong here at more tomorrow. We will be hanging around for a little bit more to see the other teams coming by. The first few teams are Belize Bank, West Track, Whatever Boys, Niche. That's the order in which they pass right here at more tomorrow. Let me see if I can grab one of the guys from, oh, I tell you, when these guys' teams pass, they just run like really, really fast, like quickly to try and figure out where next they can see the other team members. But I tell you, West Track started out strong yesterday. Today is no different. They're definitely looking good. They're looking strong. Belize Bank looks like they're going to have to do a lot of work today. But I'll tell you one thing. It's a long day. It is the longest day of the race. You never know what's going to happen. Niche is right up there with them. And... Like I said, you never know. Servings, like um, Lewis was saying this morning, servicing is essential. It's very, very important. And if this is a primer, this is an important service area for all the teams. And if they're not serviced here, then they will definitely run into some issues. Let me look at the BDS uh, sheet here and see exactly what he has. Belize Bank came in first, West Tra Whatever Boys second. That means Whatever Boys is the first in their category. Belize Bank is the first male. Let's see who else we have here. 
The first instrumental, sorry, is whatever, boys. What else do you have? You didn't write the only first? Only the first ones you write? Only the station prize. We have to get the first only the station one. prize. All right, the first female, the first male team got, what is the prize? Then we don't have that. You don't have, okay. If they claim the first prize here at more tomorrow, do you have the order in which they call us? No. All right, and now we have, hey, Jerry and Chris and Mr. Cod. This is Joseph and Taylor. These guys are doing good, looking strong. Let me run over on this side to see if I can get a word with the service team for Joseph and Taylor. There you go. Hey, all right, I'm looking for, oh, well, they've not, Come here, make I have a word with you. All right, all right. This is Mrs. Guidus. Mrs. Guidus is Chris Guidus's wife. How are you, Wally? Good, good. I'm doing good. What's the feeling like? Oh, yeah, very good. Yeah. It's very good. How does it feel to have not only your husband on the race today doing well, but also your daughter, which would I would imagine is your first child, right? Yes, she is, and I feel very good. What kind of preparation you put in to prepare both of them? I would imagine having both of them in the home, feeding them to time. I mean, I know you feed all your children to time, but they, I would imagine, need special food and special care. What is your day like with them? Oh, very hectic. They, they always request special meals. And, you know, I have to tolerate all this canoe talk. They keep repeating themselves as this, it is the first time I'm hearing it. And then I have to be there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have to act as if though it's the first time as well. But they would rehash their training. They would go to the drawing board and it's like canoe, canoe all day. How do you think that this activity help your daughter when she's not on the water? It keeps her fit and she has a very bright appetite. I don't know if that's a plus, but she has a very bright appetite. And you know, it keeps her physically and mentally um, fit. And it, if she wants to go party, then she remembers she has a race to do. Yeah, so I, I like it. I like that she's involved with it. Here she goes right now. That's my girl, yeah, Jenna! Black Orchid Resort, the first mixed team, Jada Guinness and her team. I tell you, you guys must be really, really proud of this child. I am, I am. She, I'm not allowed to say this, but yeah, yeah, she's doing very, very well um, being, a, being a girl. And she's a strong girl as well. After all, I'm the mother. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, good luck to uh, both of them. They're doing excellent. I see. Mrs. Johnny Watt in the water. She is like full service. Linda, come up here so I can have a word with you, man. I'm because of my gym shoe, man. How are you? Doing good, thanks, Rhonda. We, we see Nestle team passing. How are your guys doing? I don't know, we're gonna find out right now. They got a good night's sleep, so they should be doing good. How did they do yesterday? They came in second, seven seconds behind the grumpy old man team. All right, we look forward to seeing them today. Okay. See you later. No, I figure you want that, so I'll look for you. Oh! Sure! D and A Construction. That is the Gillette Brothers. D and A Construction, they're heading home. I would imagine they got their service a little while ago because they have passed the service area now and hopefully, hopefully, all goes well. But tell you what, it's very rare when we get the chance to speak with the service team. Tell me your name, sir. Mr. Arana. Miss. Son of Grumpy Old Man. You service Grumpy Old Man? Yes, ma'am. All the way. Tell us what does it what does it take to be a servicer? Everything, all the energy. I feel broke up right now. What do you have to do? You have to be able to swim, dive. What what is the criteria? When they decide who and be the service man, what are some of the things they look for? We just work together so it make it easy for you. Two are we going in there? Two are going in there? Yeah. But you have to be able to swim for being a service man, right? I don't think so. Watch them, but I don't need to swim. As long as you're reaching far enough that you could service, uh, you don't really have to swim. But if you want to take a duck, you could take a duck. <laughs> All right. So how they find them? Where are the two from? We work with a company, with um, the boss man, the, the one at the palace, Carbon Engineering. Carbon Engineering. 
All right, well, good luck. Thank you. Team police, I tell you, servicing is essential in this race. If you don't have guys like these guys here, it definitely would not be the same because you need somebody to make sure you get your food and your nutrients and all of that because it's not easy being on the water for six hours or so. We see the guys here from Benny's. They are the Belize Defense Force, sponsored in part by Benny's. These are the guys that ate pasta Ina yesterday. All right, so we expect them to do better today than they did yesterday. Pasta Ina is definitely the pasta of choice. When you are in the mood for pasta, please make sure you go and get some pasta Ina. You are a servicer here too. How are you? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. Generally, you serve. You have to service two teams. This year, you only have to service one team. This, if you don't know, this gentleman here is brother to Jerry and Chris. Years gone by, he used to have to service two teams because they were always paddling on, in two separate canoes. But this year, his life has been made easy. What's this year like for you? Well, it's, I'm glad I have one team to service because it's very hard to service a team. and I don't want to make them miss their service and have to suffer out there. So. Did they get service today? Yeah, they get all so far. What is some of the pressures you go through when you don't bring service? I mean, obviously you live in the same yard or in the same house with them. I mean, what's a night like when, you, when they miss a service? That, I don't want to imagine that because they are never done. They are never finished with that. What, what, how do you prepare yourself to prepare for them? Well, I do, I'm doing it a long time, so I, I know I got experience and know the tactics. So I, I could help them. Yeah, I could. Do you go out and like before Rutamaya, like practice your swimming so you can swim faster and stronger or you're always in the river so that's nothing? Yeah, well, we, we live in the river so we don't have to really practice or anything. It's not too hard. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say to them? Well, I just wish them the best of luck and hope they do the best. Oh, I know if anybody know how your mother feeling about this is you because you are the baby and you live home. So. How does your mother feel now that both of these guys are on the same team? I think she's very proud of them because she wants to see this a very long time. This, this is something that is going on long and they need to paddle together because we're brothers. Yeah. Well, I, th I think they're doing excellent considering, uh, you know, the time that they had to practice and they don't, it's not only them, but they also have a heavier person, for lack of a better term, in their canoe. I think they're doing extremely, extremely well. Yeah, well... The guys are experienced paddlers, so they, they could handle. I don't put anything past them, so. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. And I tell you, we get a chance to speak with some of the, the, some of the service guys. We get the chance to speak with the paddlers because Rutamaya is not only made up of, um, of the guys paddling in the race. It, it is made up of people, the services, the wives, the husbands, the, the daughters, everybody that comes out here to help to make uh, Ruta Maya what it is, the spectators, because without them, there's nothing. I feel like I'm chasing down the lady from Caribbean engineer. Could I'm going to catch you. I am going to catch you. Morning, how are you? Good morning, how are you? I am good. How are your gentlemen doing? You can see they're doing fantastic. We're very proud of them, very happy. They're first in their category? They are right now, I believe so, yes. What keeps them in first place? Um, high energy, practice, strategy. I always strategy. want... I what always, he said? <laughs> I also want to know what's in those little bottles that you mix up. Um, carbohydrates, I believe. Carbs. And that's it. That and, and, co and water and they're good to go. Okay, well, so if I drink carbs in this case well you need to exercise them off don't just drink carbs <laughs> what do you expect to see by the end of the day today with your guys well i hope i hope they come ahead in the first in their category go masters but i'll have to say i know that all of these guys are friends the oh, ones you know they're all friends so what's the conversation like when when rutamaya is finished boy i really bust you what's the deal at the end of the day we all have a good talk ah, we're all buddies we're, we're in it to have fun we're in it to have fun that's what it's all about Excellent, continue enjoying. Yes, thank you very much. All right, let's see who else. Oh, here we see Sea Sport Belize, Johnny Watts team. They're second in their category, second in their category. Print Belize is just passing them, but they have to stop for servicing. If you notice, they get, they get six bottles. Okay, grumpy old men didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. 
You have to turn here, Drew. You see this lady right here? You see what her shirt says? This is gonna be on TV. Caribbean Engineering. <laughs> she is what the wife you? to the Caribbean Engineering, one of the guys in Caribbean uh -huh. Engineering, who are in the lead. What a thing is second in their category, but when she sees what a thing passing, you can turn back. When she sees what a thing passing, she whistles. She says, "Yay, go!" What's that about? I tell you, we're friends. We're all friends, and we're all in a dev fun. <laughs> Good luck. I tell you, that's the spirit, though. That definitely, definitely, definitely is the spirit. You see these guys trying to. Oh, the closer they get to this side, the better servicing they're going to get. If they miss their servicing here, it will be problems for them. You see a team there trying to get servicing. Oh gosh, oh gosh. They missed their servicing. That team just missed its servicing. That is not a good thing. This is the longest day of the race, and without that servicing, they're gonna have a hard, hard time. Did you see that team just missing their servicing? No. Uh, no. Next service, Where is the next service? Uh, I'm not quite uh, sure. Big falls. Big falls. I don't know. That's almost at the end. Yep. Yeah. They got a few. They got a few hours. To they're go gonna now. have a hard day today. Got to, and the sun is on. Yeah. Oh wow, oh wow. It is important for the services to position themselves. I mean, it's not always perfect. It's important for them to, if they gotta be on the other side, they gotta be on the other side. If they gotta swim across, they gotta swim across. But they need to place themselves in a position where the teams will be able to get the servicing they need. Kabule, the bear of Dominica. Definitely passing, supporting the Belize Defense Force. And if we notice the crowd is thinning out because they're definitely trying to move to another location, another Kabula team coming in the distance. This is what the fun is about. You know, her hey. If you notice out there, everybody cheer for all the teams. Yeah. They just want to see the guys and girls do well. Yeah, I noticed um, one of the teams flipped over just um, just as they were heading out of Mo Tomorrow. I think it's the Seed Ignatius team or one sponsored by Happy Cow. Um, they flipped over. Um, and the and their the group that were here cheering was telling get let's go boys they're only you know minutes away minutes away, like less than a minute away and they were cheering they got in the boat and they continued the the, the race I must say that the more it, it kind of changed um, today in terms of um, who is leading along um, it's a very tight first group so anything can happen on day two. I'll tell you what, it's a tight first group. It was a tight first group when they left the first day. But if you notice, Belize Bank separated themselves. Today is a long day. Today is a very, very long day. And because of such, they have to use strategy. Staying together really helps them because they help each other pass uh, the rapids. They help each other pass time. I guess the, the community, if you want to call it that, it gives each other something to feed off. But I tell you, when they get to that finish point, I say at least three miles before then is when you're going to see the men separate themselves from the boys. Well, um, yesterday that was an early indication, uh, but today we, we would like to see that. But today, um, today, is a, uh, no, they, today is a long day. It makes no sense for the when they are in the middle of nowhere to be fighting for position because that position then has no value. Yeah. But uh, like Armin said yesterday, Armin is the guy in the Belize Bank team. What he said yesterday was he realized that some of these guys are much faster yeah. than he is, but he has to use strategy. So. As much as they're faster than he is, they're probably faster than him on a sprint. But what they might not have over him is endurance, and he can endure. Yeah, it, it seems so, and I'm I'm, I'm happy that the the group, the, you know, they're they're each supporting each other. Cause I I noticed um Randa when one of them fell, he said, "Boy, get get in the boat, continue." I'm doing the the the, the, the paddlers continue their way. So I'm glad that they, you know, they're also um, helping each other, motivating each other as they go along. I like the names they put on the boat. Give me some of that nice thing. <laughs> All right, that's a running W and, and he'll view. Give me some of that nice thing. Give me some. And we have Key Cocker, a tea from Key Cocker. This morning I saw these ladies putting this canoe in the water themselves. All right. Go Key Cocker. Right. And they definitely, they're doing well. They're looking strong. They're in the top teams. And... Like I said, it's a long day, but they look like they got a lot of paddling left in them. It's a, a, an island team in an inland um, activity. activity. It's strange. <laughs> it's wonderful. That goes to show the kind of things and people and effort that 
Ruth and Maya brings out. But let me make my way over here to Errol because Errol can't come to me. I have to go to Errol. You know, if the mountain won't come to Mohammed, Mohammed have to go to the mountain. Mr. Errol, you know, I, I see you in this position quite often. Is something wrong? No, um, this is the best angle for the shots that I wanted in this bend. And I get some nice close shots of the service guys doing the servicing. Which, which I need for the video I'm making. Did you notice that one of the steams missed the servicing? Yes, yes. They were too far into the river and the guy couldn't get it. Apparently it's deeper there. But they signaled to them already, don't even bother. Try it at the next one. The guys in the boat were telling him, you know, yeah. it's all right. And they, they kind of instructed them what to do and where to do it and how to do it to get it done. I don't know if the guys in the boat don't know, but it's going to be at least another two hours before they see them again at any point. So... I would imagine maybe now they feel full and hydrated. <laughs> They're feeling nice. <laughs> They're feeling nice. I, I, you know, sometimes you have to decide which, which cross you will carry. And maybe they feel like getting ahead now is going to help them. But I'd say my servicing more important than that extra 30 seconds right now. But we're not sure what they had in the boat either. Maybe they had a little stock remaining. Maybe, maybe not, you know. Or maybe they have some connection with Scotty. And these guys could go to Scotty and beam it onto the boat. <laughs> oh gosh, how are you enjoying the race? I like it. I'm strategizing, you know, because I have to come and do this, you know. If not with paddle in a canoe, to really come and cover it, and you know, and and switch at each point and thing. I'm really excited about about this race. All right. Really, really, really. Really, really. really. If you don't know, Errol is a guy from Gal the Caribbean. What happened? Really, really, really. Excited. Really? Yeah, really excited. Oh. And he's also a comedian. I mean, you might think it's funny. He's going to say really again, but I'm not going to let him. Excited for so. <laughs> That's right. Errol is really a comedian by profession. And also, a, uh, he's the owner of Gal the Caribbean. So definitely, he's going to be back again. Gal the Caribbean is the station that carries morning matters in the Caribbean. We are in Barbados, Grenada, Trinidad. St. Lucia, Curacao. There you go. All the islands, he said, and more. Globally online. Globally online. There you go. To the world. Guys, <laughs> before we go, we need to thank some of our sponsors. We need to thank the people at Creative Marketing. When you think hats, shirts, t-shirts, banners, flyers, any promotional item, it has to be Creative Marketing. And I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> Last night we went to a place and the gentleman was looking at our shirts. It was embroidered nice shirts. Yeah. Well done, and very well done. They're very well done. Oh, yes. He says, um, where you get them? He um, says, no. He, we, he didn't even give us the opportunity to finish. He says, where you get them? Creative marketing? I said, it's like you're reading my mind. You know. No, you read your shirt. You read your shirt. The quality I make it know that I found creative marketing. Oh, yes, definitely. One thing I like, besides all the good, high quality at creative marketing, I like the customer service. I mean, some businesses, when 5 o'clock come, they're gone. You can't talk to them no more. You... Creative marketing, once you have his cell phone number or Monique or whoever else is there and you need something, if it's nine o'clock in the night, they're answering you. They mightn't get it for you right at this minute if, because, but they will answer you. You will get an answer and by sun up in the next morning, you're having it. These guys reversing, they, they're not, they, they're a pleasure craft, right? They're not in the race. They're definitely in the race. That's Team SIB and they're definitely in the race. They're still doing well, you know. I mean, this is, they are not in the bottom crew. No, they're probably there at least 30 more behind there. At least. Definitely. We have Tropic Air coming up here. And they are all doing well. They have decided their position. And they're comfortable with their position. And anybody that goes into this race and finish it, to me, is a champion. I see they have a 46 on the bow. Is that the position they chose? No, 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 no. <laughs> 46 is their boat number. <laughs> But they are tropic air, no? They have aeroplane. Why are they in the water? Then maybe they have something not connected right. The wiring, the wiring wrong. All right, and I'll tell you what. We also have to thank the people at Pastaina. When you think pasta, think Pastaina. I mean, there's pasta and then there's Pastaina. When you go into the store, you look for Pastaina. Pastaina is distributed by Vegas distributors. All right, that's who brings in Pastaina into this country. I need to say good morning to the people or hello to the people at Vegas distributors. And if you want to be in the race, you must have Pastaina in your stomach, else you can't be in the race when it's done. I couldn't say it any better. I couldn't say it any better. 
Wings Stop. Whenever you're looking for the best wings, they you must visit Wings Stop. They are at they're in San Ignacio yeah. and in Belmopan. And what did you say in the ad? If you need wings, if you're flying in and flying out? Yeah, if, if you're flying in to get a bite or flying in to pick up something to carry home, take your time, slow down on the road. But if you want to experience heaven, we have the wings for you at the wing stop. You know, that is why this is a genius man we have on set here, you know, um, her here. No, that goes without saying. Okay, we have two geniuses. Drew is definitely one and Jorge is definitely one. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, we're going to take a wrap up from here and when we come back, we'll be coming back with more. Comprehensive school. Okay, you see the guy in the middle? You see his paddle strokes? <laughs> You know what? He's definitely out there to have a good time. He switches hat. He's messing around. But that's the that's the <laughs> that's the spirit at the game. So, gentlemen, who in the hotel had the support today? Talk to me. Come, turn on. No access, shy. Morning. Morning. You don't know who in the hotel the support. You just come out and one and put on shot. Not, re so not really, I know. Make her ask them then. Tell me where name. Adam Miguel. Miguel don't know who the hotel is service, so anybody could tell Miguel who the hotel is. Wait, tell Miguel who the hotel is service for me. Thirds, team thirds. How's your team doing? They're in ninth place right now. What category are you in? Intramural. How much? Turn this way, make us see your face, man. Tell me your name. Raymond Woods. <laughs> Raymond, how much preparation, how much time you put into this race this year? I come out here and see you all the time. Yeah, about two months and a half, say, cut it bad. River, we never get much more now. So the river never have no water. Never had, but it's nasty. I mean, just a joke. <laughs> um, what's today gonna be like for you? Today is the longest day for you guys. How do they normally um cope on a day like this? On a day like this, they usually start out not so fast, and then eventually pick up and level off, and then try to finish strong. How did the rapids affect your guys uh, last year? Last year, the ones near um Big Falls. Uh, we had no problems with the rapids. You were going take your time. Yeah. You had what? Thank you. You Gillette, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Come to me. What do you say? No, no, no. We had a lot of training. We did constant reviews and back and forth with the with the team. So the rapids weren't any any issue with us this year. You know that that's funny because last year we um we 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 had um we noticed we were there and we saw all the big teams having issues. And I mean one mistake caused all of them to yeah. Have it difficulty. So you're saying nothing happened to you last year? No, no, we were good last year. And you think you're gonna be good again this Definitely. year? Well, I'm marching myself right there, right now, for go see. We were right there, wait for you. <laughs> we're gonna take a break and we'll be back. One of the paddlers being brought in by the rescue team. Let me see who she is. She is from Black Jaguars, a UB girl. Oh, actually, it's my little friend. Uh, last last year, she was um. She rode with Jada Guides. Um, she practiced in Boom. Um, I'd like to figure out what happened to her. She is paddling this year for UB. Sorry, Mrs. Sanchez. I'm showing you the howler monkey in the tree. I tell you, isn't life grand out here? Yes, yes, yes it is. It's a nice experience. Yeah. You Your whole family out here today? Um, three. My husband, Michael, my son, Michael Jr., the other one, David. My granddaughter, myself, and my our team, service team. Yeah. How do you choose this service team? Hmm? How do you choose them, or oh, do they choose you? Friends, <laughs> friends from a way back, like 12 years ago when Michael started, they were right here with them, the whole family. So, okay. along at that time was my daughter also that was paddling. Right? Oh, good. I know Michelle and Michael normally come for this. They don't miss it for nothing, but Michelle has dropped off. Yes, she has other responsibility now. She has a little girl. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. So she, she can't afford to come right now until when the baby is bigger, right? Excellent. <laughs> Good luck to them. Thank you. 
All right, uh, let's see if we can get in here and find out what happened. Um, coach, can you tell me how far away uh, she was taken out? I'm not really sure. Do you know what might be wrong with her at this time? Like the cyclic food, the food she ate um, at the restaurant in Mala in in Kyle. That is, I mean, I know her because she used. I've seen her paddle with Jada, and I, I, I know she used to practically live there, paddling all the time. And I feel that besides just being out today, I'm sure that she's hurt for more than one reason because she likes this race. Yeah, yeah. she couldn't. You couldn't keep doing the food. I'm one. It won't show up like for a whole like yesterday. May show up. That's why we there wish we were there right now. But cause this is our power. This is this is our main engine. This is our senior paddler right there. So, you know. How will this affect your team? Well, I got two. I got two rookie paddlers, so you could tell me. You do the match. You you know paddling. God, no, good man. You never know. All right, I'll, I'll pen paddle right now. Did they did they um add anything else to their boat to kind of stabilize it? Did they put in any rocks or anything to create balance? Or you think these two are are not seasoned enough to know what to do? Well, I'm getting credit because they have they're strong mentally, they're strong, they're ready for it. They know where they're headed. Eh? Where they come from and what they name? Uh, um, Yagahani, um, Salazar, and um, Inca, Jamir, Jabri. Do you think that my friend here tomorrow will be able to make it again? Hell yeah, that's Louise. <laughs> that's the captain. All right. Well, see if we can. Louise, Louise, girl, I'm only glad for you, but not in the air condition here at all. <laughs> I know why you're there to cry for me. How'd it go? Okay. Much better? Yes. What part and take you out of the river? Um, Lee Pass, Cotton Tree. How, my, how did they know that you, I mean, who was there to, to see you? Did you stop? Did you pull over? How did they access you? Well, we came up because it, the ladies, they told me, Lou, are you okay to keep us in Lou? I tell them, I'm surviving, I'm surviving. And they said, no, we'll take you out. <laughs> and they took me out. Well, I know you all live for see you next day. You come on the Chris Guy this training. You wonder well. Yes, mom. All the best. Thank you. <laughs> all right. You be you be got a champion team there. It's so unfortunate when something like this happened because they practice hard, they work hard, they put in a lot of energy and effort. And for one bad meal to do that to you, it really throw you off. It's bad food, she. Oh no. I guess when you come out here, you have to choose your meals carefully. You have to decide who you want to eat from, how much you eat you want to eat from, or else anything can happen. No, you have to plan. Everything has to be planned. You must plan everything. You can't just tsk, tsk, tsk. And I like, the, I like her, you know. I mean, she has good energy. She's a champion. She, she is friends with Jada um, Guides. They paddle together. They train together. They, they practically lived in the same space for a little while. So I tell you. They didn't live together. They didn't live together. Not really. I mean, they, they spent a lot of time, like, she would come working, from her home and working out. Working out. <laughs> yeah, the one that made you put your hat like that. Oh, when I was sitting there, the sun was so. And this part is for the sun, so I put him here to keep the sun there. Yeah, but the sun so now, so um, we could put it back there. So. <laughs> but these amazing caps that you all have. You know, with the peak in the back and the peak on the side, you know. <laughs> and now you just change it for the summer, the peak in the front. That's great. That is how these, these can versatile. hats work. They're versatile. They're made by Caribbean, um, by Caribbean Action Network. No, they're made by Creative Marketing. That is what Creative Marketing does. They make versatile caps. And shirts. And shirts. And cups and mugs and shoes. And if you want your dentist branded, they will do that too. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we have to give thanks to some of our other sponsors, the people at Pasta Ina. When you think pasta, think Pasta Ina. They're distributed by Vegas distributors. Uh, the Wings Stop, San Ignacio and in Belmopan. When you think wings, when you think wings and pasta, when you think pasta and wings, definitely the Wings Stop. And the, wing, the Wings never stop at Wings Stop. How is that for you? The wings never stop at wing stop. There you go. I like that. I like that. I mean, you're such a rhyming man. Uh, can, what can I say? A rhymer day keeps the brain diseases away. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. All right. I also need to thank the people at uh, Crystal Auto Rental. That's right. When you think car, if you want to buy it, if you want to rent it, 
you have to choose Crystal Auto Rental. It's like the one we use and we got that from Crystal Auto Rental. We only use from Crystal Auto Rental. But only. I have to get one like that for back in Trinidad because I don't know how it is that that car manages to not collect dust on it. No matter what, it stays clean. We've been through the worst dust. And it comes out looking shiny every time. It's the polish they put on it. I, it's the crystal. I want one like that. I want one like that. But not only that, it, the air conditioning works well. Inside stay clean. You know, the engine is most important. It works. And even people who look little Kali Wumpus outside, when they reach inside, they look good too. That car real good. <laughs> crystal on the rental, I tell you. How they look Kali Wumpus? They look little Kali Wumpus on the outside. But when they sit down inside the car, they look brand new. I want a car like that, Gary. When you're staying in San Ignacio, you have to stay at Windy Hill. Yes, I was there at Windy Hill, and they have real security there, I tell you. I hear click, click in the night outside the cabin. I come outside to look. I see a man with a shotgun making the wrongs, you know. He making sure nothing untoward or anything dangerous don't come by the cabin. I felt good to see him. <laughs> no, and it's nice. Their rooms are nice. They're comfortable. It's a peaceful place. Yeah, and, and, and it's innovative too. I see them They make a, a lantern with a bulb inside it. So when you turn it, I think it's a lamp, lantern to pick up and go with gas, but it's really an electric thing, you know, very nice. I, I like it very much. I enjoy it, you know, very much. And all the jealousy windows and things, oh, fantastic. You know, why do you think they call them jealousy windows? Because everybody see them, want them. They have a lot of jealousy going on there. <laughs> all right. You know, Sometimes it's very rare when we see this, um, but I'll tell you one thing. It makes us realize the importance of people like these on the race um, because without this kind of service and without this kind of care, it would be a miserable, miserable race. Because apart from rescuing, we see that they have medics here and um, they're doing everything. They're hydrating her again. They put up an IV and um, you're really seeing them getting very innovative because they use a latex glove to tie the, the IV up on, the, on a branch there. But it works, you know, it works. And creativity and necessity is the mother of invention. And these guys, they, they have a she could very well be in an ICU somewhere in some hospital because she's getting the same care. And not only Everything. that, she gets it on the beach, pretty much. There you go. Couldn't pay for that. No girl, only in Belize. I love it. I really, really love it. I love the fact that they come out there. I mean, some of these things you can't teach. Common sense you can't teach. This crew have more than common sense. No, common sense seems to be common. In some parts of the world, though, common sense is not at all common, you know. It's like a rare disease. Not in the disease of the rare, but a rare disease. It's true. We see this crew are definitely doing their thing. We must commend them. We must commend the, 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 the quickness in which they attended to her. And I tell you, I wouldn't be surprised if when we get to double head, she's not there jumping around. Yeah, it's a rapid response and they, they're fully equipped. That's the thing. They're out here, but they're fully equipped. Can't go wrong. That's right. Let's see who else is passing here. If you notice, and it don't matter. All woman team and a team with two men. It's a female team. It's a Kabula team. Loans to go. BDF. Female BDF team with Kabula. We have another team here with only two members in it. Black Jaguars. Oh, it's that's woman. their team. It's that's her team. Oh, it's her team. It's woman because it's woman. It's two women in it. Yes, normally she would be in the middle there. She's the missing link, the girl lying down here. Yeah, she is missing. Yeah. In there. Yes, but guess what? They have smiles on their face. They're paddling. They're going. They got their camels on their back. They're doing their, awesome. Their service happened. Their service happened. Look who's this. The only family division. Look at the little one in the middle. He is grumbling upset. about <laughs> something. Upset. He is not happy. He's paddling with one hand right now. He's like... All right. I tell you, the family division, he, that the gentleman in the back, he's never Mr. Rutemeyer. Mm -hmm. He's never Mr. Rutemeyer. No, some of those children in that, or at least one of them in that, were not born when he started Rutemeyer. I would imagine so. And now they're big enough, he put them into battle. And now they're big enough to complain, because he wanted me to complain. <laughs> He like, Daddy, I ain't doing this again. You see this? You and my other brother could do this, not me. Um, I'll be the serviceman. And he, your father saying, you could cry cookie girl, you're doing it. That's right. And you're going to like it. Well, he ain't got through with that part yet, though. <laughs> I tell you, it's fun here in More Tomorrow. We're going to take a quick break, and we will be back. We saw the family uh, pass here a little while at More Tomorrow, and when we passed, we saw the middle guy. He was not pleased, and now we see him out the canoe.
All right, if, if, he didn't, if he's not feeling well, this is the perfect place for him to come out simply because the medics are here and they're definitely servicing him. Let's see if we get, can get close enough to him to hear any of his parents here. Ima, morning, ma. How did you go? All right, so far. How old is he? 13. Um, I would imagine now he's still. Hi, how are you? Good. Why did you decide to come out just now? You just had enough or you were on the pain or you just tired of your father and your brother in the same canoe for so long? <laughs> on the pain. What's wrong with you? You think we should take you to the medics? No. Your pain in your head, in your belly, in your foot? In your foot. In your foot? You don't need a foot for paddle. I'm just pulling his leg. <laughs> I'm really just pulling. Tell me. Sorry? And it's mad when we call him and he complain about the pain. So I guess, I don't know. Jay, you think we're going to see you in a race again tomorrow? You think you'll try again? Yeah. Yeah, well, we the chair for you. You, are, you are the, Your family is the only family in this year's race. And it would be good to see you guys start. It'd be good to see you finish, but you can't kill off yourself. So take some rest and tomorrow we'll see you again. All the best, okay? Uh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Say that they said thanks. <laughs> but you know what? I mean, it's good to see people out here. You the support them too? Yes, ma'am. What relative for you today? My friend. Your friend. So, what part are you going to see next? Double head? St. Paul's Bank. All right, we're going to meet you at St. Paul's Bank. All right. Interview, you got to see that youngest supporter. You're the youngest supporter. How old your child? I'm 12. What make you get out of your house this early in the morning? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Can we race? You think one day you want paddle? Yes, ma'am. When? Because 12 year old can paddle to you, no? Next year. You're sure? Yes, if you paddle next year, make sure you look for me before you start paddle. Yes, ma'am. We have a date. And Michael, your class. And Michael, your class. Wait, say, come out here, cheer for Michael. Yes, ma'am. You look, you do, you go and cheer for him. Go, Michael, go, Michael, can I cheer? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I tell you, if we turn, you'll see another boat passing right here at more tomorrow. They're beginning to, thank you, guys. They're beginning to space out now. I mean, but like I said, they have lots more to go before this day is finished. They should be getting into double head around midday, maybe between 12 and 12, 30. The first canoes should be passing there. We see. All right. You can hear the serviceman saying to these guys, you need to make your way closer to me for come get this service. You know? He said he's heavy, so I'm make sure how to take it. There you go. All right. And you hear the motivation. He says, what does he say? He says, get it, get it, get it. We see another guy. We win a sea win with that. Wow. We see another team coming here. It looks like a St. John's team. SJCJC team. Sponsored in part by Nescafe. Team police. Team police? How did they must be borrowing team police's boat? Have to be borrowing team police's boat. Well, we have to thank the entire crew uh, for this report from More Tomorrow. Louis Garcia, Drew Miller, Jorge Aldana, Errol Fabian. This is Run the Crichton reporting for Cannes. Wait, but babe, this is an all good position for me. Shoot something else. <laughs> all right, and the race continues. We are here in St. Paul's Bank awaiting the canoes. It's going to be a little while before they get here. This is the same area last year, if you remember, where most of the big teams uh, capsized. And then the river was a lot lower than it is today so hopefully the same fate does not await them um we are that would be so unfortunate uh, alongside drew there we see jerry hopefully jerry can come up here so we can get a word with him um but we have the guys here from cubs arm uh good morning guys how are you fine fine we're just awaiting our guys to pass through yesterday afternoon we noticed that when your team came in they were doing well but one of your guys were missing what happened well, unfortunately, one of the guys uh, got a cramp, so he had to come out and to allow the guys. Uh, he was just kind of being a weight on the on the on the vessel, so he came out. 
so that they, uh, the guys can make their way faster. I like that. They're not carrying all that weight. If you can't paddle, you can't sit in there. That's right, mom. That's right. He was, he was dead weight for the moment, so he just jumped out and the guys continued. Where did he get out? Um, it was uh, New Valley. It was a new... Uh, Dream Valley, Dream Valley area. Um, he jumped out. We were going to service them, and we noticed that he was not doing good, so he just jumped out and they continued the race. What was he like this morning? Well, yesterday with a little massage and everything, I uh, gave him some IV to get um, everything back in order. So today he's doing fine. And I, I, am, I understand from my, my uh, brother, who was at the pump earlier, that we were coming uh, first, between first and second with Lee's Bank. Really? Yes, ma'am. Do you think that they would be able to maintain that when they pass this area? Definitely, definitely. Um, yesterday was, that was the aim yesterday, but unfortunately we had the mishap. However, today that's the aim to maintain all the way to first place or second place to keep up the time and try to make a second place with Niche. What, where are you guys from? Where are the guys from BTL's Cubs on? Where do they originate from? Uh, the, the paddlers are from Santa Familia. However, the team and the name and everything came from uh, Sartaneja village. The first time Kobzaram came about was in 2001, um, and it was made by uh, three fishermen. And my dad here, he was, he was one of the paddlers at, at that time, 2001. Uh, my brother, uh, I mean my uncle, my dad's um, brother, and then another fisherman. And at that time it was um, Cubs. We were uh, the Cub family, right? Armando Cub, Rydell Cub. Those are the real Cub um, paddling. Since then, we enjoyed the sport. It was a nice sport. Uh, we brought the team back again with another uh, with another team, the Cubs Arm Gatorade, and that was another team from the Chunosh Village then. And then it became bigger and bigger. And then when people saw us, uh, I mean, the first year in 2001 when we did it, it was fifth place, first time coming around, and it was it was uh, fifth place. No one believed that the fishermen could 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 win the river guys. Could you imagine a bunch of fishermen? Exactly. <laughs> Everybody thought uh, the river guys know about the river and the, the fishermen know about the sea. However, they came in in 2001 and we came in fifth place. Have you ever paddled? Yes, I've paddled um, for Coast Guard, for the Coast Guard once. Um, we came in uh, seventh position, I think, what the year. It was 2009, I think. We came in in the, in the mixed category. Um, and like I said, we here, we're here to support the Cubs Army as well, the Belize Coast Guard as well. I got to pick up the Belize Coast Guard. Um, they're making a win in the, in the mixed team. All right, um, let me try, you know, I the fan boom, but I don't normally go the river bank. And the last thing I would have wanted though, the falling in the river, because that means the party done. Mr. Cobb, what was your motivation for getting in in 2001? I mean, as a fisherman, Frank Corozal, it seemed very unlikely that we would have that those kind of people thinking about getting into Taruta Maya. Thank you, there. Well, I, I was motivated because there was a fisherman that did it, that they made the first year, the first year Taruta Maya started. I, I get to know a fisherman. And I, he was a very skinny man, and he was the champ that, that year, the first year. And I put in my mind that if he could make it, I could make it. Because I know I was a good paddler at sea. So how did you find your other teammates? Well, I, I tried to, um, well, I told my brother that has passed away. I tried, I told him that, let us um, try this, try this. Let us see that, make that fisherman go paddle in the river. And I find my, one of my friends there, and he's, I know he was a good, strong paddler too. And we joined together and started to work three, three weeks paddling at the, at the sea, practicing and training at the sea. Only three weeks and we came here. And how did you play? Fifth place, fifth place that year, 2001. Well done. Did you paddle again after that? 2002. When did you stop paddling? Um, that's it. That's, that was my last paddling because I get a lot of... It's a surgery in my body. And not only that, by then you realize you could do it and that's all you wanted to yes. prove that is that you can do it. And, and that started a tradition in your family. Oh, yes, because all my, the first year, all my family support us. My father, he was a tortilla factory and he put all, most, all of the effort to, he bought the dory for us and everything. I still have the dory at home right now. You mean the canoe? The canoe, yes, I still have it, yes. <laughs> well, job well done because uh, You've been in it from then and you're still in it now. You still, you've brought out a lot of other people to, to participate in this event. And that is such a wonderful thing. I like when things like these create tradition, you know, and I'm sure that when you got into it, you didn't think that it would create a tradition in your family. You were just excited to do something that you thought would be fun. I know because I know we are a, we are a family uh, together and we have that, all that support from my brothers, my, all, all my family, grandson, that and everything around here, 
from here. Everybody. Well, thank you guys, and we look forward to see where Cubs Arm, BTL's Cubs Arm, plays this ring. Definitely, Mama, hope is first place. What happened? Tell me. You are the one when, when I made the sit down just now, you tell me. After I done sit down, you say, um, <laughs> you realize they have what out here? Potato lice. But you know, think potato lice only take potato? That's why they call them potato lice. Anything that is pink or red, they say. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Another thing that I love about coming on, the, on, on, on this race is that we get to learn so much about our country, we get to see so much culture we get to see some so many people come out as and and we're all teaching each other you know every year when you come out you learn something new and one of the first things i learned uh many many years ago when javier and i were on the river he said if you want to know when the race is coming don't kill out yourself looking 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 as soon as you see the birds start moving you know that they're coming you know and that's where i learned that um we're missing javier this year um for the ones that might be wondering where javier is guess what Javier get a job. And the job where Javier get, um, kind of lock her in. I mean, he got the job. We were planning to come on it. And maybe 10 days before Rutamaya, he got the job. And it was, he, that, he didn't put that into the negotiating part of it. I will take this job under one condition. So he's there and we're here. And, but we carry him in our heart. And every evening he calls and he says, so how was it? Because where he works is out in the bushes, right? And we're like, oh, it's good and we miss you. So Javier, we miss you. And hopefully you can run away from that job within now and the next two days so we can see you on the riverbank. We're going to take a quick break because we're going to be uh, waiting here for a little bit longer for the teams to come. But I have to take this time to thank our sponsors, the people at Creative Marketing. When you need hats, shirts, caps, anything that any promotional item, Creative Marketing is definitely the place for you to go. When you're thinking of wings, it has to be the wing stop. You can get wings from them in Cayo or in Belmopan. They will be having uh, delivery services that's going to be coming soon. When you think pasta, it has to be pastaina. All right, and pastaina is distributed by Vegas distributors. When you think cars, you must think Crystal Auto Rental. Those are just some of the people helping to make this year's Ruta Maya a success on Channel 7. We are here in St. Paul's Bank and I tell you the canoes are coming. This is the moment that we all wait for. Belize Bank, West Track, Niche. Belize Bank, West Track and Niche, those are the teams that we can see at the moment. When we saw, saw them in more tomorrow, we noticed that they were close together. There was a pack of them coming. And right now we see West Track. West Track is not wasting any time. West Track is leading at this point in time, followed by the Belize Bank. And then we have the young guys right there, Whatever Boys, followed by Niche. Then we have the Belize Niche and BTL's Cubs Arm. This year it is smooth sailing, absolutely smooth sailing for these guys. Last year here created a lot of trouble, but we see West Track in front, BTL, whatever boys, Niche, sorry, West Track, BTL, whatever boys, Niche, and now we see Coop Sheet Metal. <laughs> I tell you, this is the area that created the most havoc for these guys last year. They're definitely well on their way into double head cabbage now. It could be anybody's race. It could be that they're helping each other, either consciously or subconsciously, to get to that position. But I'll tell you, when you see them coming into double head cabbage, it's definitely going to be a race. It's going to be on. Right now, they're kind of coasting. It's been a long day. It's been, a, it's, been, it's been long. But they have been blessed with good weather once again. We 
we're definitely going to wrap up our crew from here. We're going to be moving on to Doublehead Cabbage. Drew, it's time for you to get up from where you are. Make your way up the bank because Doublehead Cabbage, here we come. They are coming in to Doublehead Cabbage. In the background, you can hear all the noise, all the excitement. And like we suspected, it is definitely going to be a race in here. Everybody putting out their best. Everybody wants to come in with the shortest amount of time. If Belize Bank gets in here today, they maintain their lead. And if they get in here first, they will maintain their lead. And it seems not only are they maintaining their lead, but they are adding on time. They're coming in here strong. Definitely, definitely strong first for Belize Bank in double head cabbage. Followed closely by Niche, then West Track. The first three canoes are in. Belize Bank, Niche, West Track in fourth position. BTL's Cubs Arm. I tell you, what an exciting, exciting day we're looking for now. The teams from this era, the teams from the Belize River Valley area. Just to go over it one more time, Belize Bank first, Niche second, West Track third, and BTL's Cubs arm in fourth position. That is how the, for those are the first four teams to make it in here into double bank, double head cabbage. Whatever boys in fifth position, whatever boys in fifth position. Now we're gonna sit around and wait or stand around and wait for the other teams to come in. I tell you what an interesting, interesting day. The last time we saw them, it wasn't as spaced out, but I'm sure that that was the strategy that the BTL team was using. They definitely were taking some time to, to kind of like get together. They're moving definitely fast, but I know when it's time to come into the into the end of the day, they're definitely going to be pushing and they're going to be pushing hard. Morning, ma'am, how are you? Good, fine, and you? Good, thank you. Tell us about some of the rescues or what's going on with your position, um, with, with your uh, the disaster team today. Well, today we had uh, um, more cases of dehydration as per normal um, on this leg, so some of that's most of, most of what the guys had to deal with today. How many more or less? Um, cases of dehydration, I think reported we've had to take out about four to six paddlers today. We had to take, evacuate them out of the, the water. Excellent. Uh, and so do you expect today being a long day for you? Definitely. That is definitely. So. Okay. Take care and continue to taking care of them. Always. Mr. Harrison, good afternoon. How are you? Not too bad, Randa. Excited that we finished the second aisle at least. We have seen the first five canoes come in, um, quite excited, wonderful day, not too hot, cool. Your work is paying off. You know, Norm, some days, sometimes in the past years when I used to see you, I used to see you all hyperventilating and stress and running around. I guess after 16 years you have mastered it. I, I think so. There, there is, after 16 years it, it becomes routine, um, but the excitement is still there. Even if you don't see it, it's still... It still goosebumps me um, every time the, the finish comes to an end. Excellent. Well, another day closer to the end. That is correct. Tomorrow morning we start at 8 a.m. here and get into Henderson's Bank at around 11.30. Uh, again, 12 the latest. Tomorrow is the shortest day. Yes, it is. All right, so tomorrow the race kicks off from here in the Doublehead Cabbage at 8 a.m. You can't come here 8.01 and expect to see the race kick off because where will it be? Gone? Down the river. That's right. We're going to make our way down the bank and see if we can talk to any of these teams. But I tell you what, what an interesting day. We're going to be... I don't, and I don't expect for it to be much longer before the other teams come in because I tell you, these guys on the river are waiting. Everybody is waiting. I see families out here from all angles i see but i'll tell you what i noticed that the belize bank when they come in they never just jump out of their boat they always stay in it for a little bit while a little bit longer simmer themselves settle their soul before they get out they're definitely the leaders in over the two days they yesterday they came in with more than three minutes lead now they're in i would say with just a few seconds but that has been added on to the three minutes so they are doing exceptionally well today we see the guys here from west track we see the guys from Niche. We see the guys from Belize Bank. Let me see if I can make my way over to the guys from, uh, we see the guys from D and A Construction. Miss Ava, good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. What was uh, your son's uh, 
uh, position yesterday, um, 10th. How did he feel about that? Not good, not good at all. He expected to be in the first five at least. Well, you know what, sometimes, I mean, I think they did pretty well. I think so too. I told him that too, so I think he'll do better today. Well, we're going to be looking to see how he does today. We see the guys from Coop Sheet Metal. Shoka, Coop Sheet Metal. They are the sixth team to come in, in here to Double Head Cabbage. I'd have to say that I expected to see my boom boys already. Yes, they should be here, but they will be. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Melanie, you're back on the river again. Yes, I'm back again, back again. Have to be out here to support DNA hydroplaners all the way. There you go. Yay. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. You know, you I have seen on the river year after year after year after year. What keeps bringing you out? The race. I enjoy the race. Does any of your family paddle? No, nobody. We once had the boomers team. Well, we have, I would say, in laws, the, the DNA that's they are related to my husband, so that's why we are supporting them. For somebody that's never seen this race, tell them what they're missing. Oh, they're missing their life. It's it's a fun. It's it's like an, an um, like a reunion every year. It certainly it's is a reunion every year. Can we come out every year? We meet friends that we haven't seen for a whole year, and we spend the four or five days together. Can we start from Thursday? There you go. All right, take care. We're gonna be moving down the river. We can see in the distance another team coming. We can't. We're not sure exactly who it is just yet, but I am sure that. In a few seconds, we'll be able to tell who they are. While we do that, I'm going to make my way over to the guys from the Belize Bank. Let's hope that they are out the water already. If they're not out the water, I expect them to be out the water pretty soon. In the meantime, I need to take some time to thank my sponsors. When you're looking for pasta, it has to be Pasta Ina. You can have Pasta Ina they, in any store in this country. All right, When you walk in, you look for pasta and not just any pasta. Pasta Ina it is. All right, distributed by Vegas Distributors. Jerry, good afternoon. Congratulations. Thanks, Rhonda. So now you have more our lead? No, I'm just joking. Um, how, how far are you ahead? It would be uh, about 3 minutes, 50 seconds with today's win. Well, do you plan on making more time tomorrow? Or do you think you're going to give the boys a break? I mean, can you just ease them up? No, Rhonda. Uh, this, like, like I said before, um, this is probably the last year. This team will be together paddling for, for, for the bank. And um, I told them that we, we, if they could win the four days, let's do it. Let's, let's go to Tabang. Are you saying that Belize Bank is not going to be no, in as strong? We'll be in. But um, if, if you see our, our logo, it says developing youth. So what we'll, what we'll try to do next year is to bring out some younger, um, younger parallels to develop them. I like that. I like that. And congratulations again. Thanks. All right. So let me see. You know who I see over here? I see Neil. Neil! It seems like it takes Ruth and Mahia to bring you out without Ruth. At one last I see Neil, if anybody, and every Belizean know Neil. And who now know our one, know her right now. Neil, good afternoon, how are you? Afternoon, love. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? What part you are you All about the place. What part you these days? You there or are you there out there? I'm out there. Okay. I'm going to try work for me some morning. Good, well, welcome Just home. Not today. Just not today. So how have you been enjoying the race? Fantastic. Um, I'm in a... Banana Bank Ranch yesterday, and that makes exciting. This makes exciting as well, and it's just really nice to see the amount of support. I'm I'm taken aback because of the sponsorship and the amount of teams kind of drop off from significantly. But aside from that, that's still a really good event and now a really good family event, as you can see. So I I just hope that more people get into it or more companies get into it. How often do you come? How often have you seen a route of mine? Have you? This are you the come? First one. Very, very first time I've actually been to the, the different locations where the race ends for the day and then we'll start up. I won't be up here tomorrow, of course, but, you know, it's the very first I've ever done. But I think it'll be something I do in the future. Thank you so much. And I would like to encourage more people to come and try it. I mean, it's something that's been going on for 16 years. And if you've not seen it and you're a Belizean, it's time it's you see it. You should, it's something you should see. It's really exciting. I mean, just know when all the noise, I don't know if you caught that on tape or on video, but when all the noise started, everybody got excited and you have the teams coming and everybody's like, no, wrong team. <laughs> and then the rest are like, yes, my team. Uh, it's, it's really enjoyable. And this happens at every stop. I, I've, I've noticed. I have noticed. How are you, by the way? I am good. I am good. Life is beautiful. You know, I always say in life, you must celebrate what exists. No worry about what you're not have, because that's not come if you celebrate what you have. Amen. Well, thank you, sir. My pleasure, ma'am.
All right, and I tell you, we have more BTLs, Cubs arm out here. You know what I like with this crew? They are a family. Last year they said the baby that they brought out was maybe three months. And they camp every day. They don't miss one day of camping. And they camp with everybody. Lock, stack, and barrel, like we would say. Picnic, dog, everything, what they bring, they camp with. This year they have another baby pan thing. And they say, you know what, that's how they initiate them into Ruta Maya. So, and the one day we can't come, they put on their shirt and they watch TV. Or you like that? I think that way it should be done, no. Because everything with. Everything that you do has to be passed on to the future generation so it can be carried on because that they will end up the paddle at some point and you want to enjoy it, you want to know what it's all about and they, they get the vibe from the spectator's point of view so that when they say, you know what, I want to do this in a two years and then train because I'm anything about it, you know, but I, I have a problem with training. Neil, they have some people out there, they had, not a little story, we might motivate you. They had a bunch try. of fishermen, I want to try, a bunch of fishermen they started out in 2001, and you know what motivated me? This is somebody where older than them, fatter than them, decide, you know what, them could do it, you know what, me could do it too, and they come in fifth. You look strong and, and healthy to me, I'm sure that you could do it. Good thing no video, not the out yeah, but yes. I don't know what you call a man now with the Can Network shirt, because he not a video man, and he know that you look strong well, and tough. catch me right now, keep, keep the camera away, keep the camera away, no problem, good job, good job. But yeah, um... It's something where I would have want to try eventually, but a back on the um, participation of younger ones and kids and toddlers and people in a pampas, but they got an MBTL shirt and a BEL shirt and a D and D shirt and a Belize Bank shirt and a Knit shirt and I, I I swear everybody just look excited for the other and that important thing. But like I say, I guess they're just finding different companies for for buying canoe and get their team ready. You know, I never. Why cities have like 400 canoes on the river? Why that would I? You know, the beat art crew and the rescue too, to the whole their head. You know, the only problem we'd have with that, everybody have to have a different shirt color. That would be the only problem. All right, we see a team coming in there. If oh, guess what? I gotta go. go that is DNA construction. DNA construction. The Gillette brothers are in. A little while ago, I spoke with Miss Ava. They are in. They're absolutely, absolutely in DNA construction. If I am not mistaken, which I hope that I am not, then they are the first team from this area to have gotten in today. All right? Those guys have done exceptionally well. You know, like I always said, there is a race within a race, and their race is amongst themselves. So I am sure that they're quite pleased with the progress that they have made today. D and A construction just got in. This is the final leg for today. Tomorrow race starts from Doublehead Cabbage at 8 o'clock in the morning. S Studios, take it away. We now see the Belize Coast Guards getting in. The Belize Coast Guards getting in, I tell you. I mean, it's an interesting day. We had expected to see other teams in already, but we haven't seen them in yet. But I'm sure that with time they will get in. I mean, if you look around, if the cameraman would slightly look around, I mean, you'd see the amount of people that come on out here. And this is, this is just a small percentage of the ones that are out here, um, that are yet to come. This is one of the places where you get the most participation. Between here and Boral Boom, everybody comes on out here. I mean, it's just the energy of this area that brings out more and more people each and every year. Uh, there we go, Drew. We see police team. We see the police team coming in. All right. We definitely see the police team coming in right there. Team police. Team police making their way here into Double Head Cabbage. Now we saw we see Belize Coast Guards getting in. Let me move over here. A little while ago, 
we saw Joseph and Taylor coming in. <laughs> let me let me see how these guys are. You know, I like that Miss Ava. I really like that Miss Ava. I really like that. Yeah. I really, really. We have, I told him we have to beat him tomorrow <laughs> because he's the lead, one of the leaders, you know. So we have to catch up with him. And you know, I realize that there's a race going on within a race, yes. and 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 the race right now is between them and them. Where where this in this area? And um, I my back was turned, but by how far did they come in? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not, not sure. sure. We didn't I'm check. Fine. We didn't check. But tomorrow you got it in for them. Yeah. We got it in for them. It's important that they're both doing an excellent, excellent job, and and we support both of them. I mean, they're we're from Boom, so we have to just support. Three Boom teams came in one behind each other. That is the spirit of the Ruta Maya. Thank you. Yes, Thank good. Thank you too, Chris. How are you doing today? I don't want no crying out to you today, okay? Right, we good man. Where did you pay, where did you um where did you place today? I'm not you sure. Know I yet. Think seven. How are you feeling? Six. I feel good. What we are expect from you tomorrow? Run now. This is a race. Um, let the race start tomorrow, and we are see where we are take place. What happens? What like on a day like this when you get in? What happens next? What do you do next? Next, I go get a massage, find something to eat, and go rest. Well, good job, and we we'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Jillet. Mr. Jillet, how you feel today? I feel excellent. Um, I had a little mishap at uh, Mo tomorrow, and um, it was it, it cost us big time. To be honest, we today was a day for me to gain back on my opponents, and uh, uh, hopefully tomorrow is a better day. Lady Luck wasn't on my side. She is like that sometimes. She's definitely like that. We have to have a talk with her. Did you get servicing today? Yes, and the servicing is what cost me today because one of my men held on to the canoe and we, we capsized and it cost us at least five or six minutes. We, we, we caught back at least six of the teams, but the, the, the teams that I really wanted to gain on was Chris and um, Jada. They had uh, probably five minutes or so and I, I believe that today I could have closed it a bit. But um, such, that, that's how the game is. You know? That's just how it is. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but this is your area. I would imagine that you did a lot of practicing in this area. What should we expect from you tomorrow? Are you going to get them? Your mother say we're going to get them tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going for all the marbles. I mean, the, the entire route of Maya is for the big marbles, but boom is my home and I consider that all the marbles, the big dubs if you want to call it, that's what we're going for tomorrow. The Kwayan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, good luck and take care. All right, thanks. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to my father who stuck his um, head out for us and uh, took the, the, sh the, the load on his shoulder. And to all my, my fans and supporters and to my teammates Jeremy and Raymond who did an excellent job today. All right, there you go. And the Ruta Maya continues. I, let me see if I can get the chance to speak with these guys. Jada, how did it go, girl? It's going good. Who you beat out today? Who you beat out today? Who coming right behind you today? You never made a look back? DNA. And Who coming right front of you? Me pa. Which is everything is in order then. If he come in front of you, that's acceptable. Very much. What was your day like? I mean, this was the longest day. Well, my day was, I had a bad start. The Coast Guards were ahead of us and we had to chase very hard. But we caught them and we kept our pace consistent, kept on eating and drinking and we we were good enough and we won again today. You made it sound like a party, you say you kept on eating and drinking? It was not a party but you have to stay rehydrated. There you go, good luck for tomorrow. Thank you, oh I would like to pick up my sponsor, uh, the Black Orchid Resort. Alright, there you go, now let's move on. And the guy this, and the guy this canoe, your pa canoe you. Ah, oh, how are you? Good, excellent as yesterday. How you feel about your team? Very good. I feel very good with my team. They performed well. We're, we're, we're performing. You're ready. We're ready. That's right. All right, guys. What's your name, sir? Jerry Kante. Henry Cruz. What's the rest of the team? I have to ask. I haven't spoken to you since the race started. The first day of the race, I saw you take off like wild animals. You were just giving it your all. You were gone in it for lack of a better term you claim the prize at the first bridge or the low bridge and you we didn't see you for a while you were just out there gunning it what happened how did Belize Bank gain so much time on you well the, we 
the cell barriers were there was, it was leaking water and it was coming in like a lot of water and we we're, were halfway of the canoe with water and that holds us, holds us back a lot and to, well last night we take off the cell barrier and cover that hole and well we did better today how good did you do today well we come, well we came in third with uh, just a couple seconds behind Belize Bank and Niche so I think it's a good one today do you think it will get better tomorrow well if God spare life yeah we you think so how much practice do you guys put in uh, we have six months of hard work training what is hard work every you practice two hours a day every day an hour a day you eat bananas what do you do we work we practice five hours a day three days for a week Wow. The man got a job? They work for West Track. Paddling. They work for West Track and then paddle? No, they work for West Track, paddling. Okay, so you got a cool job, we don't like it. What made you get into this race? Well, you know, we are, we were, we were from when we were small, seeing those guys out there in the river, well, we decided we want to join them also. Job well done. Well, guys, best of luck tomorrow. Yes, thank you. As a sponsor, what motivates you to continue to participate in events like this? Well, of course, out here, advertising, the crowd is out here, everybody's watching TV, everybody's listening on the radio, so, hey, that's where the publicity is, so we need to be there. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. You want to say something else? Um, I want to give thanks to my sponsor, West Truck, and all the fans, and everyone that's out here supporting us, and you guys are videoing this. All right. Guys, what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick wrap up and we will be back. We are here at Doublehead Cabbage. We see grumpy old men just getting in. They are first in their category. I'll tell you what, Jorge. It's been fun and games. It's been a lot of fun and games. We've seen a lot of teams come. We've seen a lot of teams go. But I'll tell you what, there is the time, there comes a time when the fun and games has to stop. And look like the grumpy, the grumpy folks did good today. I mean, they came far ahead of the younger folks. <laughs> definitely. We're going to take this time to wrap up our broadcast for today. It's definitely been a day filled with fun and excitement. Did you have a good day? Of course. Um, and I'm looking forward for an excellent day tomorrow as well. Uh, even better. That's right. But before we go, we need to thank our sponsors. We need to thank the people at the Wings Stop. When you think of Wings and you are in San Ignacio or in Belmopan, it has to be Wings Stop. When you think pasta, think pasta Inam. Pasta Ina is distributed by Vegas distributors. All right, when you think cars, rental, or purchase, it definitely has to be Crystal or the rental. When you're in Belize City and you're looking for some place to stay, the Princess Hotel is definitely the place for you to stay. The Princess Hotel, I recommend it. I stay there. I stay in there tonight and I stay in there tomorrow night and my whole crew stay in there. So guess what? The Princess Hotel is definitely a place to stay. When you think shirts, caps, any promotional item, it has to be, <clears throat> it definitely has to be creative marketing. <coughs> creative marketing are, they are in Belize City. You can call them at almost any time. They are, what I like most about them is that their customer service is excellent. And their product as well. Oh, well, I mean. Questionable. Definitely, definitely, definitely. They make magnets for your cars, shirts, anything. And their slogan is, at Creative Marketing, everything is possible. All right? So what we have to do now, we have to thank uh, our entire crew, Drew Miller, who has been cameraman slash technician slash everything else, Errol Fabian, who has been spectator, number one spectator of the day, um, Luis Garcia. Louis uh, started out the day with us. He will definitely be here again in the morning to start with us. And you as well, Jorge. Thanks to the entire team for being here to put out the energy and effort that they have for today. Until next time, 8 o'clock is when it kicks off right here in Doublehead Cabbage tomorrow. On behalf of the entire crew, we thank you for choosing Channel 7 and Can Network. <laughs>